Hey everyone, in this video let's see how we can transfer the data in our Power BI file to the SQL Server database. And there are multiple ways of doing this. One of those ways is to use the SQL Server integration services. So you will basically create a project and then transfer the data from your source to the destination. But in SQL Server integration services, you need to have Visual Studio, you need to know how to use the integration services. And then you also need to define the column data types and there are other things that you need to set up and that can get uh, really difficult for a beginner who doesn't know how to use SQL Server integration services. So in this video, let's see what is the easiest way of transferring the data that we have in our Power BI file into SQL Server. So as you can see on the screen, I have a data set and this is a Spotify data set which contains songs and artists and different kinds of values regarding a particular song. So we have danceability, energy and key and I'm going to load this data into my Power BI file and let's wait for it to load so now the data is loaded into the power bi file and the first thing to do is simply go to the sql server and what we need to do is simply create a new database so i'm going to write a single line of code i'm i'm going to say create database spotify and if i press f5 it says the database is created and i can refresh the folder so that the database is visible and then let's just go back to the power bi file and we need to use the DAX Studio. So let's click on DAX Studio and let's wait for it to open and then head over to the Advanced tab and just simply click on Export Data option. And if it is up to you if you want to use the CSV file options or the SQL tables, but in this case, I'm trying to load the data into SQL Server. So I'm going to check the option of SQL data tables. And in the first option, we need to provide the server name, which in this case is Summer Antriksh and the database name is Spotify. The authentication is generally Windows because when you try when you install SQL Server, there are two options, either Windows authentication or SQL and Windows is the most safest one, I think. So now we can simply click on the next option and just click on export and it will load the data from Power BI file into the SQL Server within a matter of minutes or few seconds. So let's wait for it to complete. And now I can click on the close option and let's go back to the SQL server and let's refresh the database, which is Spotify. And if I click on refresh and let's expand the table folder. And in that you can see that we have a table, which is Spotify and let's expand that and the columns. And now you can see that we have received all the columns that we had in the Power BI file. And let's try to understand if we are actually getting all the columns or not. So I can write select star from Spotify let's select the line and press F5 and you can see that I have received all the columns that I had in the Power BI file. So that was how you can actually transfer the data from Power BI file into SQL Server with the help of DAX Studio and I will see you in the next one. Until then have a great day.